I had a, uh, a viewer request, a subscriber request for a video on how I make YouTube videos. And I thought, wow, that's a really big topic. There's a lot of steps involved. It could take a really long time, probably an entire two hour, three hour course or something to describe how I create YouTube videos. But what I thought I could do is provide a very high level of how I create YouTube videos. So here we go. The first thing that I wanted to describe is the tools of the trade, what I use to create YouTube videos. The first thing that I use is I use the Chrome browser to access YouTube. Now I'm going to show you and talk about creating a YouTube video on a Windows 11 PC. So I don't use an app, a, a, a YouTube app or anything like that. I just use the Chrome browser to access YouTube. The next thing that I use is PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint, to do YouTube thumbnails and presentation slides, optionally, if it's a presentation style uh, video. Now, there's two types of videos. You can just do screencasts, which are just videos of your screen as you demonstrate software, or you can do a PowerPoint presentation and, and record the screen while you're doing that, like I'm doing now. And what do I use to record the screen? I use a product called Camtasia. It runs on Windows and on Mac OS. It's fairly pricey, and it comes in two pieces. It has a screen capture tool, and then it has a video editor. So after you get done capturing the screen, you get thrown into the video editor. I also use a product called TubeBuddy, which allows me to do YouTube keyword research and optimize my videos. And then finally, I have a microphone. I really like this microphone. It's a dynamic microphone that is directly connected via a USB cable, which is kind of rare. Most of the time you have to plug these things into a converter box, but it's got a built-in converter on the end of the microphone and it sounds really nice. Well, you're hearing me, so what do you think? And that's the tools of the trade. Now, I wanted to talk about the steps of creating a YouTube video. So the first thing I do is I use TubeBuddy, which kind of runs as a parasite in the browser within YouTube. It actually adds little things to the YouTube web pages. And I use it to research video topics. So it gives me topics that get high volumes of traffic, but have low competition. And that scores me viewers and subscribers. So this is what it looks like. When you pop it up, when you're, you can see YouTube in the background, I've got it open the browser. I pop up the uh, TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer and I type in my keyword. So I start typing it, how to create a YouTube video. And then what I do is I press the little explore button and it comes up with a score. This one is very good overall. And it's basing that on statistics of search volume and optimization strength, which is basically how much competition there is. And then it's got weighted competition in the middle. It looks at the contents of my channel and says, well, how good is this for you to determine that overall score? TubeBuddy even recommends alternative titles or keywords for my video, like how to create a YouTube video on your phone without a sh a showing a face and so on. So that's how I use keyword research, or I do keyword research with TubeBuddy. Now, once I have my keyword, which is basically the title of my video, I jump over to PowerPoint to create my YouTube thumbnail. So I actually use PowerPoint to create graphics. I use it as a general purpose graphics design tool. And here you can see is a PowerPoint presentation filled with YouTube thumbnails. I can put multiple thumbnails in a single file and then export them all as JPEGs and use them for YouTube thumbnails. Now, the next thing that I do is I optionally use PowerPoint to create a slide presentation. 
This presentation that you're seeing is a slide presentation based uh, recording. Now, as I said, you could also just record the screen as you do software demonstrations. That's called a screencast. This is a PowerPoint presentation that I'm recording, and I just play it to the screen as I record the screen. And it looks something like this. In fact, this is the slide deck for this particular presentation, and this is the slide run. Now next, I use Camtasia to record my screen presentation. So I either play the PowerPoint presentation while recording the screen, or I give a software demonstration. It doesn't matter. Camtasia just records whatever's on the screen. And the screen recorder looks like this. Now I've blown it up to be huge. It's not normally this size. But it captures the entire screen. I'm doing full screen and I can configure various capture options. And then I hit record. It starts a timer and I start my presentation which is what you're watching right now. I have the recorder running while I'm doing this PowerPoint presentation. Now, the next thing that I do is after I get done with the presentation, I hit F10 on my keyboard and that ends the recording. And it throws me into the Camtasia video editor to edit my video. And it looks something like this. You can see it's got the video in the upper right. I can see what's captured on the screen. And then on the bottom, it has a timeline where I can move a little shuttle along to a particular area in the screen that I want. I can cut out sections where I had errors. I can put in transitions and zooms and pans. So after I get done, I use the Camtasia video editor to export an MP4 video file, which I'm going to upload to YouTube. The next step is to use the Chrome browser to upload my video. So I go to YouTube, I create a new video. By the way, you click on this Create button in the upper right-hand corner to create a video. And when I've created the video, I write the description and so on. I give uh, chapter offsets and all of this information about the video. A lot of it comes from TubeBuddy helping me. So. Here I define the video on YouTube, and then the next step is I use TubeBuddy to optimize my video definition. So TubeBuddy comes into play again. It does keyword research and video optimization or video definition optimization. It really doesn't do much with the video, but here you can see an example. It's TubeBuddy is recommending tags that I can associate with my video to make it be found for these various keywords. And it gives me all the hot keywords. Notice little green numbers. It's saying these are hot, so go after them. Once I get done, I click publish and my video is created. And that's my video creation process. And that's it for how to create a YouTube video. Now, as you can tell, there's a lot of details involved and that's what could make for a very long video. But I hope this overview gives you an idea of how to do it. You can substitute Camtasia with whatever your favorite uh, screen recorder and editor is, video editor. You can change it up from PowerPoint if you have something else you'd rather display slides with, or you can do a screencast software presentation with no slides. Use something else to create your thumbnails, but this shows you the major components of the process.